even if I lose, it still feels like the biggest moment of my career. If I can't win the AEW World Championship, I should probably be kind of done. You know what I mean? Brian Danielson, thank you so much for coming here to Sun Sports today to talk about AEW All In, Wembley Stadium. Ladies and gentlemen, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. Great reaction for Danielson right here. Brian, I mean like, how much, first of all, easy question to start off. How, how much are you looking forward to it? How much are you looking forward to being back here in the UK for, for such a big show? Uh, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, this feels to me like the biggest match of my career. Mm. Uh, I put my career on the line. If I lose, I'm going to retire. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of, you know, I'm at that stage in my career. If I can't win the AEW World Championship, then it's like I'm ready to... I, I should probably be kind of done. You know what I mean? So, uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And for us, for people of my generation, Wembley is like uh, a culturally iconic mm. moment within wrestling because you think back to SummerSlam 92 and, and British Bulldog beating Bret Hart in the main event of, of, that, of that Wembley. And so, yeah, uh, and last year's was such an incredible event and I wasn't able to make it because I broke my arm. Mm. So. So yeah, really I'm looking forward to you it. You have almost like, not just a point to prove to, to Swerve in the, in the match, but like in terms of coming back for, for this Wembley show specifically, almost like that, that eagerness because you weren't on the card last week. Yeah, and just the experience, right? The, you know, like um, there's so many incredible, so many of the historic wrestling buildings I've gotten to wrestle in, right? This year I actually wrestled in Arena Mexico for the first time, which was awesome. But... Like Wembley Stadium, I've never, you know, I spent a bunch of time in the UK, you know, uh, in WWE, we did, a, you know, we would come here and tour regularly, but I also did like all the Butland shows yeah. when I was, a, you know, a t you know, uh, starting out wrestling and all that kind of stuff. And I love wrestling here in the UK, but Wembley Stadium is just like this extra special thing. So. I was going to say, it must be a little while for someone of, of your experience who's been wrestling for so long to still have venues that you haven't wrestled out, that you need to check off that bucket list. Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, and everybody who was there last year mm -hmm. were just like, this was incredible. You know, and for a lot of our, our wrestlers, that was, you know, we s sold more tickets than at any wrestling event ever, mm -hmm. right? And so it's like, you know, this is an incredible thing. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, and you, you mentioned, obviously, putting your, your career on the line for this match against Swerve. I mean, when, when you're in a moment like that, when you put your career on the line like that, do you then, is it in your mind after that, like leading up to the match, are you, are you thinking about, wait, what happens if I, if I do actually lose this match? Uh, no, I mean, I, I had thought about that before, before doing this, mm. right? And so, so yeah, like uh, I was forced to retire before, mm. you, know, I, you know, I was forced to retire, thought I would never wrestle again. And, uh, and but then that wasn't of my own choosing, mm. right? You know, this is, this is something where it's like, okay, this is my choice. If I'm not, if I can't do this, I'm ready to go home and be a dad, right? You know, so, uh, so yeah, but it's, uh, but what it does is it puts, you know, the difference between good stress and bad stress, distress and new stress. This is you stress. It puts a positive stress on me yeah. to perform my best in this, in our biggest show of the year. Yeah. Yeah. And what about in terms of that, like, you mentioned, obviously, the, the injury having to retire, again, not of your own choosing. Um, it, must be, it must be nice now knowing, wh whether, it's, whether it's at Wembley or whether it's further down the line, whether you win the title and you retire further down the line, it must be nice knowing that you've had that chance to, to make it going out on your own terms. Yes, it, you know, and going out on my own terms. And also, you know, it's very different uh, when you're forced to retire mm. and you don't have kids or anything, mm. right? And I didn't have anything like... I didn't have anything to hold on to as far as like, okay, this is like my purpose going forward. But now having two kids, like, like having two kids, if you're just, because my wife is super busy too, like, so if I were just a stay at home dad, and when I say just stay at home, stay at home parents, like that's a lot of work. Mm. And like that, that gives you so much to do already. You know what I mean? And, and things that I really enjoy doing and like being, being involved in my community and being, you know, being involved with my kids growing up and being part of their, uh, like for example, my wife was able to coach my son's softball team or uh, t-ball team, mm. and so like being able to do things like that are things that I'm really looking forward to. Is that like, I don't, I don't know how to, how to put it necessarily, but like, is it a bit almost like 
you don't know what side to fall on in terms of like obviously you want to win the title obviously you want to win this match mm. and have that moment of Wembley Stadium but also like you do want to be at home with your family even more is it like is it like on the fence sort of like is it like again like almost like we said in addition to is there like a win-win scenario for you like it, it is it is a win-win scenario except this this is what I want this is what I want my kids to take away from this because they're going to be at Wembley Stadium mm. so my wife's bringing my, the, my kids there I want them to when they when they think of their dad leaving wrestling i want them to think he's still one of the best wrestlers in the world mm -hmm. and he's leaving not because he can't wrestle because he's not the best anymore he's leaving because he loves us mm -hmm. like there's a difference yeah, right absolutely. there's a difference between between not being able to hang mm -hmm. anymore as you get older and choosing to leave because, and no matter how much, so I love wrestling, mm. love it. But I want to show my kids that I could still be the best at this, mm. and I'm still choosing them anyways. Yeah. So. Um, I love that. Yeah. I love that. And like, talk, talk to me about that moment in terms of like, we talked about maybe the, 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 the negative side of it if you lose, but have you allowed yourself to think about what it would be like, what it would feel like, again, in front of your family, at Wembley Stadium, like you say, iconic venue, to, to lift that title, would that be would that be the biggest moment of your career? Yeah, one hundred percent. I you know I think uh, I think even if I lose, it still feels like the biggest moment of my career. One of the things that um, you know my kids ha have my daughters gotten to see me wrestle, right? Mm -hmm. But it was when she was two, and mm -hmm. she doesn't remember it even, right? And so um, and they've seen me wrestle on TV, but they've never actually seen me wrestle like like from a seat mm. seem there and do it doing it at Wembley Stadium win or lose this feels this feels like the biggest match of my career mm. right and so so yeah I'm really looking forward to it and that brings me to, to my final question Brian obviously you've had one match for the AW title before uh, last year um, unsuccessful in, in that, in that, on that occasion um, how, how has Brian Danielson changed from then to now going into this match with Swirl Strip? So I think one of the things that, uh, that happens, I, f I feel like I keep getting better, right, at, at the actual act of wrestling. Mm. But what happens is your body gets older. <laughs> but so, but how, what, what happens to me, and especially if you're a, I'm somebody who's a lifelong learner. I don't think, I've never thought, okay, I'm good enough, right? I'm always working better at getting better. I'm always working at getting better at wrestling. So it's like my the way that I think about wrestling now is different than even it was a year ago. And you have to take in mind what's happening to your body as you do these things. There's a great book by Arthur Brooks called uh, From Strength to Strength, and it's talking about as you get older, these are things that you excel at, and the things that you use that you used to excel at, those aren't the things that you excel at anymore, right? And you have to transition and know that that's what's happening. Mm. And when you do that, so for example, I am not the athlete that Swerve Strickland is, mm. right? I'm not the aspir uh, I'm not the athlete that Will Osprey is. I'm not the athlete that all these guys in their 20s and early 30s. I'm not that athlete anymore. But I don't get tired, right? I work. My, my legs never get tired, ever. And, uh, and I, my cardio, it just won't stop. And I also feel like I'm smarter. I get smarter every year as far as like, okay, uh, this is one of the things that you think about in jujitsu when you're doing like grappling stuff is your increased sensitivity to people's movements. Mm -hmm. So it's like, if, somebody, if somebody's on top of me or I'm on top of somebody else, being able to feel even the slight bit of movement of where they're trying to head, these things, you pick up that sensitivity the older that you get. Mm -hmm. Now, am I as explosive as I was 10 years ago? No. But am I smarter than I was 10 years ago? Absolutely. So it's like, yeah. There's parts of you, there's always this trade-off, right? There's this trade-off as you get older of things that you lose, but things that you gain. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I, I like to focus on the things, you have to acknowledge the things that you've lost so you don't rely on those things anymore. But then you also have to focus on the things that you gain, so that that and that's where your advantage is. Brilliant! That's amazing. That's amazing. Well, in that case, final little plug for AEW. Down the barrel of the camera, thirty seconds or so. 
anyone for some reason hasn't got their tickets for All In yet, what would you say to them to make them buy a ticket to watch you hopefully lift the title at Wembley Stadium on August 25th? So it's really funny because, you know, I've never been that. Uh, so there was these, when you think of professional wrestling, you think of like the Hulk Hogan down the barrel, like, oh, yeah, come here, oh, 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 you know, and I'm like, I'm not that guy, right? Uh, but I do want to say this. To, to all the people in the UK and all the people potentially all across Europe and the world who would come to see this. I just want to say thank you to everybody who supported me throughout my entire career. I mean, the people here in the UK, like uh, there was a time when people didn't, people in the, higher, in the high ups in professional wrestling didn't want me to be like kind of a main event guy. And you were, the, you were the crowd that like pushed that to the next level. So I just want to say thank you. And if, uh, if, this is my, if this ends up being my last match, I hope you guys all come out and see it. It should be a fun show. It should be a great show. And, uh, and yeah, I'm just really looking forward to it.